Okay, guys and girls, I don't even know where to begin. This is my December haul video, or at least part of it anyways. You may have seen uh, my last video there with the Auto World cars. Got so many parcels that I don't even really know where to begin. I just kind of went on a spending spree and uh, kind of acting like my own Santa Claus, getting everything I wanted this year before the Christmas rush and uh, well here we go so there in the far corner we've got the auto worlds uh, I've already put those into one video so we'll just continue right along and this month I've really kind of gotten a, a whole smattering of different cars giant, some old Johnny Lightning, some uh, Hot Wheels from the 90's, Hot Wheels from the 80's, the 70's just a whole lot of stuff some, uh, some of those uh, collectible cars, uh, Hot Wheels from the like different company releases including Lexmark, printing companies, exclusives some other stuff like that, some amazing rare Johnnies, even some old uh, lockups, Yatmings and some in the package too like like this one, Hot Shots it's like a 65 Mustang it's in the package and uh, this is some old stuff here. It doesn't even have anything on the back. Like the lockups here. Get the key. It's uh, one of these cars where you could it has a little keyhole in the bottom, and you you turn it, and the car actually won't roll. It's got real rubber tires, and the doors won't open. And if you unlock the car, well, then uh, it will begin to roll again. So if you want, you can pause on that uh, display of the rear part of this card, and you can see what what's what. So this one's going to be an opener. It's got the lo the corner lopped off. So we'll actually be able to demonstrate that to you for some point. Including some other things here. I got a uh, really cool Ertl Diecast Truck International 4300 Eagle Car Carrier. So we're going to open that one up here on camera and uh, have a look at it. Just in a little bit here. It will be in this video. So check it out. It's 164 scale and this is an old car it's from like probably 1982 or so and uh, picture on the back here it's got a few of the original Ertl cars which I will pull out to show for this video but it works well for all cars including Hot Wheels you can see it's the proper scale and uh, seeing that Christmas is around the corner what more fitting way than to decorate with a old Giant Lightning Holiday Classic ornament car so this car, you can actually put a little suction cup uh, ornament hook on it and dangle it from your Christmas tree. I got a couple of those, but uh, that one's chrome. Here we've got the Johnny Lightning 1959 Ford... Uh, whew, Ford what? Ford F-250 pickup truck, of course. What am I thinking? So if we can get a little bit of a focus here from this camera, that would be great. And uh, it's a chromey type paint job. This one's got the black rims, if you'll notice. Whereas this one has the gray rims. Now I already had this truck and I had forgotten that I have it. Bought it online and uh, was all kind of realized after the fact, oh darn, I already have that truck. Now I went and spent 20 bucks on a truck I don't need. But pretty fortunate that it ended up having a variation. And at least that way, uh, if nothing else, I can say, well, I've got the black wheel rim version and the silver rim version. So whatever. Worst things have happened than having too many cars, right? We're just jumping all over the map here. Here's a Hot Wheels Elmo Langley exclusive. I'm going to probably pop that car open. It's uh, just one of the T-Bird stalkers. Really nice. Real rider rims. Uh, where where to next? Let's have a look at some of these Johnny Lightning Streak Street Freaks. This is from the Project in Progress. Gotta love that stuff. I've got a whole collection on my Johnny Lightning wall of uh, Project in Progress over there. We may have to take a quick look at that. Well, let's go in for a quick zoom here while we're here. While we're here and while we're talking about it, we'll just have a quick look. There are some of the uh, Johnny Lightning Demolition Derby cars. 
and some of the project in progress cars right down there so I've really been trying to fill out this collection here complete the uh, progress in project in progress collection that I have and uh, when I get a camera that's better suited for zooming in or maybe a better lens we'll look at some of these cars in greater detail but for now what I want to show you guys and girls was the uh, street freaks here this is a pretty rare car it is the 70 Pontiac Firebird with the primer and rust and it's got a steel wheel on the front and some chrome wheels on the back and whatnot so and here of course is the uh, 2000 Honda Civic with the uh, carbon fiber hood some primer bumpers simulating as if some young punk just went and got some new bumpers for his junkyard Civic now we used to call these ricers back in the day these cars were everywhere on the street and uh, all my buddies used to drive around cars just like that so pretty cool for me to see that great little car of course Johnny Lightning are out of production these are older cars from like 2005 so if you're hunting them look on uh, secondary markets here we've got the Hot Wheels Demons this is an older line of cars that was released I believe 2008 2009 yeah 2008 it says there right on the copyright I can see uh, you would have had some all the cars at opening uh, chassis with bodies real rider tires and rims all metal and uh, just really cool so this is a car I was missing from my incomplete collection of Hot Wheels drag strip demons and uh, of course the seller had it at a good price so could not pass it up also uh, another seller here the Lost Cars of China this is an amazing rendition of the Hot Bird uh, it's in metallic uh, Spectre Flame Red with red line wheels metal base just really cool nice little car you can usually pick up for about 10 bucks and I'm not sure why it took me this long to get it and we got a few other cars here we got a whole bunch of, uh, of loose cars vintage cars I may have to go into a separate video for those ones there it's a little bit there's there's too much I want to talk about to uh, cover it all in one video and I see we're at about seven and a half minutes on this one so why don't we just uh, cut right to the uh, the cars I promised I'd show you, including this die cast Ertel transport truck with the cars on it. And we'll get to the rest of the stuff uh, in a separate video for loose Hot Wheels and whatnot. Maybe just one last thing I'll show you is these, uh, well, we've got these random cars to show you is these Johnny Lightnings. These are from a toy fair. And interestingly, Johnny Lightning kind of went out of business at the end of 2013 there. Most of the, uh, the designers and whatnot went went on over to Auto World, where they're doing a hell of a job making some nice, nice castings. But uh, getting back to the old Johnny Lightning, this is interesting. The New York Toy Fair is quite a quite a big deal, of course, for uh, people that are really enthusiastic in toy collecting and going to a convention of sorts. Happens in New York. Here's the 2012 limited edition Jeep Cherokee. So, uh, you know, this is this was released minus the siren uh, in Johnny Lightning's different collections. This one is one of 5,000 pieces in 2012. And in 2014, I'm pretty sure Johnny Lightning was pretty much just about extinct by that point. And here we have the Jeep Wagoneer Toy Fair taxi version. You can see it's got a little taxi thing on the top and uh, released to a limited production of 3,000 pieces so we're gonna crack those open too maybe stick them right on top of that old die cussed truck hauler and have a look at it let's get into it so we are gonna be opening up this uh, Ertl International 4300 Eagle car carrier and uh, as you can see I've got the authentic cars as seen in the back display picture of this amazing car carrier and we're gonna open it up right now so let's just move those cars aside and let's open this thing up for the first time in about 30 odd years this has never been opened before and there you go 
what a beautiful truck it doesn't even fit all the way on the camera we're gonna have to zoom out a little bit for the, to see all this this truck and uh, it's got an exhaust stack carefully up in that yellow part there so we don't want to disturb that too much the wheels are stuck in the uh, cardboard there we go okay we got the trailer a little separate I'm just being really careful here because it looks like there we didn't want to see how that exhaust pipe is is kind of uh, sticking out there so we didn't want to uh, pull that off too abruptly shall I say and uh, damage the exhaust stack. Oh no, what are we doing? The Nissan's are flying everywhere. Let's move that off the table. We got this truck out of the package, and uh, unfortunately, my camera was hunting with the focus back and forth, back and forth, and it just did not look very good on camera. So, here it is again. Uh, there we go. Just a little. A little bit bent in from all those years in the packaging, but uh, here we go. You can see that the trailer has the sloped down version for the car hauler. And uh, got a ramp right off the back. It's got these movable slots, so based on the uh, length of your car, you can put uh, whatever you want on here. So for instance, we're going to take this Auto World, even though it's not an Ertl. And it's a big long car. Jesus, my phone is going crazy here. What do you know? So you got a big long auto world there. You got a nice little Trans Am there. And up she go. Boom. Trailer goes up at the back. Now it's locked in place. Now if you want to put a car in the bottom, she drive in the bottom just like that. Beautiful. And uh, what an amazing truck it is. It's got an opening opening hood just like that. It's got a detailed sleeper cab. And uh, just really a wicked, wicked truck with all the sorts of details that you would just love to see on this unit.